Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I get into what I'm filming today, look at my hair. Nice and blonde and blunt. I'm so in love. So the girl that does my hair is at Kells for Beauty on Instagram. You guys need to check her out. Just stalk her page. You're going to be amazed and you're welcome. <laughs> She's amazing. She's so patient with my hair. I have a lot of hair and it's not easy to turn my hair blonde. My hair is very stubborn when it comes to color. So she is a, a god. <laughs> She's so talented and I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> so today I'm going to be filming this look for you guys. It's super dramatic, so different. I've actually never done a look like this except for once which is when I tried it out just playing around and I ended up posting a photo on my Instagram and I'll link it down below if you guys want to check out that photo. And I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see me create it on YouTube for you guys and show you how to do it. And so many of you said yes. So here I am. It's a little later than expected, but it's finally here. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. And if you guys want to stick around to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. I'm going into Makeup Geek in the nude palette and I'm first picking up Creased. With my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this through the crease all the way to this inner corner. And then I'm going to start winging this out. Now to darken up my crease, I'm picking up Dark Roast. Now switching over to my Sigma E25, I'm going to start applying this on the crease, but trying to keep it a little lower on the crease. And then I'm going to blend that up and out. And I'm applying this all the way into this inner corner. And then start blending that and doing that same winged out shape. Then going back in with crease just to buff out the edges. Make sure these two shadows are blended together. And while I'm still using this palette, I'm going to pick up crease and my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush and run this along my lash line. And then picking up Dark Roast to darken up the lash line. And just smoke that out. To highlight my brow bone, I'm picking up So Pale. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone with my Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. And then bring this a little in just to clean up the crease if I went too high with it. Now going into Lois Beauty Get Lit Metallic Foiled Eyeshadow in Crystal Lights. So I picked this up on a Smashbox lip brush. I know that it's meant for lips, but it actually works so great to create the cut crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look straight ahead, and then I'm going to start applying the shadow right where my crease folds over, just onto my crease so that you can still see it when I open my eyes. And now I'm going to fill in this inner third of my lid. I'm now picking up a Lois Beauty Get Lit Metallic Foiled Eyeshadow in Spice. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this shade and just filling that in in the half part of my lid. Then when I have barely anything left on the brush, I'm going to start blending these two shades together. So what I do is I kind of just place the brush right in between that harsh line and do little feathering strokes just to blend them together. I'm picking up the Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liner in Wicked. I'm picking this liner up on my Smashbox Precise Brow and Liner Brush, and I'm first just going to line the lash line on the outer corner. And then I'm going to start creating the line for the wing liner. And then bring that liner back on itself and make it really thick and connect that up to the cut crease. And then I'm going to start filling it in. And then I'm just going to lightly, the really, really light hand, just kind of outline this upper part of this cut crease, just so it has a nice fade. And now I'm going to line my upper lash line. I'm picking up Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow in Noir. Now picking the shadow up on my Sigma E68 Line Perfector brush, I'm just tapping this over the entire liner just to set it and make it even more dark. And then this is where we're going to start blending this part in. So I'm just doing little feathering strokes, just blending into this shimmer. 
And now I'm just going to create the inner corner. And then I'm going to line my waterline. And then line my upper waterline. Now to highlight my inner corner, I'm picking up this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And now with my Smashbox Precise Smudger Brush, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm now just going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going to be using these lashes by House of Lashes in Iconic. And that's the eye look done. So I'm first going to line my lips and lightly fill them in with this MAC Lip Pencil in Boldly Bare. So you can definitely leave it just like this and not apply anything else. You can apply like a nice gloss or just a nude lipstick. But I'm going to be a little extra today. And this might make the entire look too shimmery. But you know what? I want to try it. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be trying out the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. And that's it. This is the completed look of my cut crease smoky cat eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun doing this. It's such a challenge and it is really tedious, but it's so fun to try to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. I was really bored one day and I was like, you know what? I'm feeling kind of uninspired. Let me just sit down and try something completely different from what I've ever done. And this is what I ended up doing and I ended up loving it and all of you loved it as well. So I'm so happy that I finally did this here on YouTube. And I hope that you guys liked it. <laughs> so if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here, as well as down description box. And also a list of all the products that I use today, along with brushes, will be listed down below, as always, for you guys to find them easier. And I think that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!